Hey, Get Unstuck Nation. Welcome to Get Unstuck Radio today. Um, are you always busy? Yeah, I'm talking to you. So if you feel like you are always busy, I think this episode will be the one for you that can stop you from feeling like that. I believe that feeling busy involved with the feeling of like I'm in rush all the time. Like I have to do too many things and I always in a rush hour that I have to do this, I have to do that. Like what you call multitasking, right? But I would say that it's actually multi-distraction. <laughs> um, so how can we solve this issue that we feel always busy? I don't think it's a positive um, mindset to keep ourselves in a busy environment. I think it usually causes negative feedback to our confidence, to our um, self-esteem, to our self-respect, and also actually it's caused us some guilt unknowingly. Um, let me explain. When you feel busy and you feel like you have to watch things all the time, you already feel tired, right? Like your brain... I compare your brain to your computer in case that too many things to process at the time and it will become hang. It was hanging at the point, like what they call brain fox, right? Um, you may unable to think at particular things. Everything might be slowed down. Even though you feel busy and you have to watch complete things, but it does not get like what you aspire to have. <laughs> If you know what I mean. So in that case, I think I will give you four steps here. I have a note here that would help you to gain more clarity and also able to move forward with less stress and not feel that busy and also able to live with joy. Because at here in our community, I support you to get unstuck at any circumstances and I want you to live with joy. I don't want you to live with regret at all. So let's get into it. Step number one, I want you to have a piece of paper. Um, I have a lot of piece of paper over here because I'm working on something. But just A4, just simple A4 and write it down. All the tasks that you have to do, you know, it's always come down to writing, right? Because if you keep everything in your brain, you can only do much in here. Um, even though your brains are amazing machine, but you have to see it as well. So thinking and seeing um ability are interconnected. So if you have write that here and then having it clear that um how many tasks I actually have to do, write it down. Like, let your ideas flow. Just write it all down. One, two, one hundred, if that's that much. Well, it could be, though. Who knows, right? Do that. And then, um, read through. This is step two. Read through what exactly the urgent. So, urgent would be something that have time sensitive. And also, once you get it done, you feel the most joy. That's how I define urgency. Um, I would... I would determine it urgency as like something that is time sensitive because that is external factors that you cannot control. And also it's something that you, once you finish that, you will feel released. Like you have pulled something out of your chest. So that is my urgency. Um, you might want to circle those tasks. That is the urgent one. And you will see that the rest right now is not necessary at all. So why you think about that, right? Then you prioritize. This is step three. So you have to think that are these urgent things that is supposed to be many because as you have written many tasks in your hand already, um, and these are all rush, right? This is something that you say that is time sensitive and if you not finish this, you wouldn't feel joy at all. So step three is to make a decision whether you're going to do it yourself or you're going to let other people do it for you delegate right and leverage your time um is this something that someone else can do it for you like contractors or any helpers that you have assistant a friend or even family members let them do it for you if they have time as well so making that decision and stick to the thing that you prefer to do it yourself and also commit to it so that is step three and step four 
Very important. Do it now. Let's use the five second method from Mel Robin that you count down right now with me. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Just do it. Um, don't waste time thinking how you're gonna do it. Just start doing it. Put everything together and just nail it down. No need to think about anything else because you know exactly. Um, the faster you complete this task, the better you feel and momentum will come of accomplishment. And then you will feel less busy. Because right now you're able to prioritize and organize your brain. Um, what matters, what not matters right now. And what next you have to do. So let me recap. Write down all the tasks that you have in hand. Um, circle the one that most urgent. Urgent means uh, make you feel the most joyful and also um, time sensitive. And then step three is to make decision whether you're going to do it yourself or ask someone to help you doing it. And step four, count down five seconds of Mel Robin and then just do it. These are simple four steps to stop you from feeling busy and shift from business to focus-oriented workflow for your own self. Hope that helps. And yeah, let me know if you have any question. Um, if you would like my help, if you want to join my program, my course for Get Unstuck, check it out at um, speakwithmutita.com so we can have a chat and let's see that are you really need this program or not because um, there are many resources that I put it out there over here that can help you before and if you really need that we can have a chat and have that three insights call within 24 minutes um, it could help you get back a lot of time during that call and I believe that everyone wants to get back their time to earn more freedom and everyone deserves that because this is something that you cannot get back, right? Time is the only thing in the world that you cannot get back. So yeah, I'm happy to help you with any things. Comment below if you have any question or reach out to me. And don't forget to check the show note here in helpyougetunstuck.com. So see you next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed the show, you can subscribe here or here and this is the previous episode check it out see you next time